OK, we have got volumes of revolution here. And then we've got a little bit of calculus with rates of change. Important result for this first bit, volumes of revolution, you have got two choices. If you spin things around the x-axis, or you spin things around a y-axis, then two choices. First one, spin around get this right, spin around the x-axis, integrate pi y squared, y is the radius, pi y squared along the x, and this one, spin around the y-axis, integrate pi x's, or the radius this time, add up along the y. Those are our two options for this particular question. I think we're after spinning around the y-axis, and looking in here, I can see that x squared is 10y minus y squared. So the volume I'm after, spinning around between naught and h, pi x squared, Rated along the y y becomes y squared divided by 2 y cubed divided by 3 naught and h if we put h into the formula 5h squared minus a third h cubed and if we put zero in, and if we sort that out, oops, let me sort that out properly. And if I factorize third pi h squared out, I've got what I need. So volume of revolution, spin around the correct axes, Choose the correct formula, integrate, and done. Moving on with this question, quite a long question this one. Now, hemisphere, half a sphere, starts filling with water, and as it starts filling with water, the height of the water, there's a terrible, terrible disc drawn. So I'm doing any better second time round, almost, but not quite. Height, water is poured into the bowl, Depth V, height H, sorry, height H, volume V, and we know from the last bit that the volume at height, height H is a third pi H squared, 15 minus H. I'm just going to multiply that back out. Second part of this question is reversing the first part a little bit, so we'll get 5 pi H squared, third pi h cubed, and find an expression for dv dh. Easy enough, just differentiate. Say so reversing what we just did after we integrated it a minute ago. There we go. Find the rate at which h is changing. Now the rate at which h is changing is asking us to find dh dt. And what we know already, well we know dv dh and we know that from here the rate of volume is changing a rate of 6, 6 centimeters cubed per second. And with these questions what we always do is we take what we know and we try and combine for what we want. Well, we know dv dt, and we don't want the dv. Let's get something that'll cancel the dv and give us a dh, and that is this thing upside down. So, d 
dv dt is 6 times this thing upside down, 1 over, let's just put the pi on the outside, 10h minus h squared. So combination of this divided this, and there's our dh dt. When h is 1.5, we slot it in here one point five put it through go through your calculator I think it comes out as something like zero point one five zero put that in your calculator you'll figure that see if that works and we've got our last bit area of the surface so we're looking at this area here now one of the things we've got to watch for here is well we need a radius radius would be useful however not so obvious what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this radius here now I know that's five um, which means actually this one here because this is a circle that's five which means what I can do is I can look at this right angle triangle here so I've got a hypotenuse of 5. This I know because I know that 5 is the radius minus that h here. So I know 5 minus h. So I know this radius by Pythagoras hypotenuse minus 5 minus h squared. So by Pythagoras, let's work this out. Multiply out the bracket and we get 10h minus h squared. So that's r squared. So the the surface area, the surface area w is pi r squared. And the radius by Pythagoras is 10h minus h squared. Now, if we look back at this formula here, what you will see is that dh dt is 6 over pi 10h minus h squared. So, in fact, what I can see here is that dh dt is 6 over w. My w formula I can see there. So my rate of change of depth of water is indeed something over w and that's something I can see is 6. And there we go, finished.